one thing we have noticed is that Indians are investing heavily. The mutual fund industry's SIP book stands at 20,000 crore rupees. That's 20 plus 10 more zeros. Yep, keep on counting. Not only that, even unique DMAT accounts have surged to around 9 crores. And surely, given the bull run that is happening in the market right now, people are making money and realizing gains, which might be getting attributed in the income tax data. But, 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 you know, it's not all rosy. In FY 2023, the personal loans segment also grew by a massive 21% year on year, suggesting that many are borrowing to finance their luxurious lifestyles. About 40% of the borrowers have more than five loans, leading to some concerns around a debt trap, especially in the small ticket loan segment. Coming back to the investment point of view, even non-equity investments are on the rise. As per BSE, retail investments via bond platforms have increased by 650% last year. Even securitized debt instruments, popularly known as SDIs, which are created by pooling several income generating assets are expected to hit rupees 100 crores in FY24. Showing that retail investors are also exploring diverse options for better returns. Investments in debt securities, municipal debt securities, securitized debt instruments are subject to risks including delay and or default in payment. Read all the offer related documents carefully.